Hey guys, welcome back to another video on PS4 Linux. In this video, we're going to talk about something interesting, not directly related to the PS4 Linux scene, but at the same time, it could also be useful for people who are on PS4 Linux scene. So what is it about? In the very recent past, I had released a few kernels for both Backhell and Billy's for better support of VPNs, especially those using the OpenVPN and Vigard protocol. While researching all of this, I did come around a script that could help you set up your own VPN server in under two minutes. It's that easy. Thanks to the developer NYR who has released the script. We'll talk about that later. So in this video, we're going to see how you could set up your own private VPN server that only you and your friends or anybody else who you decide has access to. This does have its own advantages and disadvantages, but it's always good to have your own private VPN server that you can control and manipulate according to your requirements. Okay. So we're going to check that out in this tutorial. As usual, we're going to begin with the requirements. The first requirement is a VPS that is a virtual private server. If you already have a virtual private server, good for you. But if you don't have one, this is the brand that I recommend. I recently came to know about this brand and I have a, a few VPSs with them and I do love their service. So that's why I'm recommending them. It's Racknerd. And during the making of this video, they are running their Chinese New Year offers, which are extremely attractive. You, you could get a basic VPS for just under $11. That is 10.99 to be exact. This is the annual price. That is, you just pay 10.99 for an year for this VPS. Talking about the requirements of the VPS for running a VPN server, this is all you need. A CPU core is fine, one GB RAM or even lesser is fine. So if you already have a VPS, then you could just use that VPS. If not, I just recommend these deals. I'll also have a link to these deals in the description. Go click on that. By the way, there's an additional offer for people who are ordering it right now. There's a limited time offer. As you can see, there's a 2000 GB monthly premium bandwidth at 1 Gbps speed, as you can see right here. So if you were to order with the links I have given in the description or on my blog, you will get double this bandwidth. That is 2000 GB would become 4000 GB, 4000 would become 8000 GB, 6000 would become 12000 GB. Okay. All you have to do is order through the links I have given in the description and leave your order number in the comment or on my blog, which also has been linked to in the description. Once you've done that within one or two weeks, I'll make sure that this is doubled. Remember, there's a limited time offer. Okay. Anyways, once you have decided which VPS you want to go with, I would just recommend the 1GB VPS. But if you feel adventurous and you want to try some other projects, you could also go for this 2.5GB or 1.5GB. Okay. So once you have decided, all you have to do is click on the link in the description and it will take you directly to the cart. And as you can see, these are some options that you're provided with where you can choose your operating system. Okay. As for the operating system, I do recommend Ubuntu 22.04, but you're free to go with any of these because uh, the script that we are going to be using provided by NYR does support a majority of operating systems, but I would just recommend going with Ubuntu 22.04. Okay. So once you have decided, so once you have set up all of these, you can just click on continue and place your order. Then you will have your VPS. Okay. Now, once you have your VPS, the VPS information, including the root password and the IP, that is the internet protocol address will be emailed to you. Okay. Do make a note of those. We'll need that later. Now, moving on to the second requirement, it is this a small software called Putty, P-U-T-T-Y. Okay. It is that software that we will be using to connect to our remote VPS. That is our remote rack node or whatever VPS we are using. Okay. You can find the link to download that in the description as well. Now, the third requirement is the client itself, the client that we're going to be using on our system to connect to the VPN. So I have both the OpenVPN client and WireGuard for Windows already installed on my system. Remember, OpenVPN and WireGuard also provide clients and other, you know, like non GUI based clients for almost every other OS, including Android, iOS, Mac and stuff. You could download your particular client for that. You can find a detailed tutorial on installing OpenVPN and WireGuard on Linux systems on PS4 Linux. I'll leave the link in the description. Do check that out. Okay. This would be useful for people who are using PS4 Linux. All right. So with that out of the way, let us just quickly jump into the tutorial part. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Putty and in the host name field, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type R O O T as you can see right here and add at the rate. And then I'm going to provide the IP address of my VPS. This, as I've already said, would be emailed to you. Check your email for an email from Racknerd or any other VPS provider. It would have an IP address. Just copy it right here after root at the rate. Make sure that port is 22. Okay. And now click on open. Okay. Now this is going to ask for the root password, which again would be in your email. Go do check that out and copy just the password string from your email. And once you have copied it properly using control C or right clicking on the password and then clicking on copy, 
just come to this window and on this blank space that you see or the black space dark space that you see just right click okay it would not give you any prompt that something has been copied or it would not show you any text or for that matter any asterisk but it has been pasted right here okay once that is done just press on enter this would log you into your vps as you can see if this is what you see you're successfully logged in okay now let me just quickly clear this by typing clear and then press enter now it is time to install the VPN server onto our VPS. Now NYR scripts give you the option to install either OpenVPN or WireGuard. You can install either of these or even both of these on the same VPS. It depends on your preferences. Okay. First of all, I'm going to show you how you could install the OpenVPN version. So to do that, I'm going to just copy this string right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to putty and then paste it by right clicking. As you can see, it has already pasted. And then I'm going to press enter to start the installation part. So the first thing it is going to ask is which protocol I want to use. It's going to be the recommended one that is UDP. So I'm going to press enter. What port should OpenVPN listen to? Just enter any five digit random number. Okay. Just make sure that it is unique for security purposes. And then we come to the DNS portion. I'm going to use my current system resolver, but if you can try any of these, for example, AdGuard would help you disable ads, most of the ads and stuff. Okay. But I'm going to go with the default uh, resolver. And now comes a portion where you have to choose your first client. That is the name of the first client. I'm going to enter Nook 404. You can enter whatever you like. Just make sure that you make a note of this. Okay. And then press enter. And then it is going to say it is going to install it. Just press enter to continue. Now, if you see something like this, you can just press on enter to skip that. And now you'll be brought to this. Okay. It will ask you which services should be restarted. To select these, you can. You can select any of these, but I'm going to skip that to do that. I'm going to press on the tab key to move to OK. As you can see, OK is highlighted right now, and then I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the installation is complete. Your VPN is ready for use. It took under two minutes, I guess. OK, and now just check this out. It says that the client configuration file is available in this particular file. That is no 404.ovpn, OK, which is the current folder. You can just check it. You can just type PWD to find the current folder. As you can see, it is slash root. Now we're going to make a copy of this file. Okay. To do that, I'm going to first clear my window. Okay. So now that I have a clear view of whatever I'm going to do. Okay. And then I'm going to type CAT space noob 404.ovpn, which is the name of the configuration file for OpenVPN. Okay. And then I'm going to press enter. All right. So this is the file. Let me just quickly maximize it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top of the file and uh, I'm going to copy uh, everything from client to this closing tag for TLS script. Okay. Once you have highlighted all this, all you have to do is press on control and shift and C. Okay. This would copy it to the clipboard. All right. Now I'm going to come back to my desktop or whatever device I'm going to use. And then I'm going to create a file right here. And then I'm going to name it the same thing that is no 404.ovpn and then press enter okay, to save it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it in a text editor. Notepad++ is my favorite text editor on uh, Windows. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to press control V to paste everything that I copied from the party terminal. Okay. As you can see, everything is right here. And then I'm going to save the file by pressing on Ctrl and S together. So here we have the OVPN file that is OpenVPN file. Now, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm also going to show you how you could install the WireGuard version of the VPN. OK, and then I'm going to go back to NYR's page. That is the WireGuard installation page. I'm going to copy this particular string right now. OK, and then I'm going to quickly paste it right here. The steps are similar, but this time around, you will be provided to choose the IP4 address that you want to allocate for this whole, you know, WireGuard setup. If there are multiple options, just make sure that you're using the one that corresponds to the one that you got in your email and the one that you use to log in using Putty. OK, so that's the first one for me. So I'm going to press one and then press enter. And again, it, it's going to ask for a port number. So I'm going to provide a random five digit port here. And then the name for the client, again, I'm going to choose the same name that is node 404 and then press enter. The resolver would be the same. And then it's going to ask uh, you to press any key. I'm going to do that. OK, and the installation will continue from now. The same thing is going to pop up again. I'm going to skip that by pressing enter. And uh, for the services that need to be restarted, nothing special. So I'm going to press on tab and highlight OK and press enter. 
and that's it it's done it took less than a minute i guess this time around okay so this is one of the best things about the wireguard thing it just pops up a qr code that you could use on your phone or any other device to directly connect to your vpn on wireguard okay and it also saves the configuration file as a noob404.conf which you can use to connect on any other device okay so again i'm going to repeat the same steps i'm going to copy the contents of noob404.conf for my purposes okay so i'm going to type cat space noob404 dot conf okay and then press enter so this is going to be a smaller file the configuration file for wireguard is generally smaller than what you see on openvpn okay so this is that file what you have to do is you have to copy everything from interface to persistent keep alive is equal to 25 okay i'm going to highlight that using my mouse and then i'm going to press ctrl shift and c to copy it to my clipboard then i'm going to go back to my desktop and i'm going to create a file called noob 404 dot conf okay and then i'm going to save it and then i'm going to open it in my favorite text editor that is notepad plus plus and then i'm going to paste everything that i copied just now okay once that is done i'm going to save the file by pressing ctrl and s together okay and then i'm going to close it so right now we have the configuration file for both open vpn and wireguard it's now time to check if our vpn actually works okay now before I connect to my very own private VPN, I'm going to quickly show you that I'm not connected to any other VPNs right now. For that, I'm going to go to this address, okay? And as you can see, it says my location is currently India, okay? So we're going to quickly change that to the US using our very own private VPN. First of all, I'm going to check the OpenVPN protocol. So I'm going to use their client right here for Windows and I've opened it and I'm going to use the upload file option because I already have the configuration file right here. I'm going to drag it onto the client and then click connect, okay? and it says connected. Now I'm gonna quickly reload this page again. And as you can see, the location has changed to United States and the internet service provider has also changed, okay? So this says that I'm successfully connected to my VPN, okay? And now let me quickly just disconnect to see if it gets me back to my Indian location. I'm gonna reload the page and as expected, it says India. So this proves that the open VPN protocol does work successfully very well, okay? Now I'm going to close this. Let's try the Wireguard protocol now. I'm going to open the Wireguard client and then I'm going to click on import tunnel from file. And then as you can see, this is the file. So I'm going to open that. And now I'm ready to connect to it. To activate the VPN connection, I'm going to click on activate and it says it's activated. Okay. And uh, let me quickly just reload the page to see if it does show US as my location. It did take some time, but it successfully says now that the United States is my location. Okay, so that proves that again, Wireguard works as well. To deactivate the VPN connection, all I have to do is click on deactivate and then let me quickly just reload this page. Yes, we are back to India. So that is how you set up your own private VPN server very easily. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, just let me know in the comments and do not forget about the double bandwidth offer on Dracknode right now. If you do use my link to purchase, just make sure that you also provide your order ID within the comments on YouTube, that is this video, or on my blog, that is psfullinux.com. The link to the article has been posted in the description. Your bandwidth will be doubled within two weeks once you have added your order number, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.